I like to build ro robots for one. Cars, I like to you like oily things. Legos. I joined robots because my mathematics teacher, she got me hooked onto it. She noticed that I like to build. After a long day of school, Alexis Caldwell doesn't go home. Instead, she takes the school bus to the Michigan Engineering Zone, where more than 100 students from teams across Detroit are building robots. They're involved in a national competition called First Robotics. They come to the zone, a partnership between the University of Michigan and Detroit Public Schools, because it gives them space, equipment, and mentors to help them succeed. When I first came, I'm like, okay, well, I like it, you know. It's very creative. I like to do things. I like to build, so it kind of fit me. When I grow up, I would like to be a mechanical engineer, and robotics will help me because it's giving me a great start because it's dealing with motors, wires, and such that I would actually use on an actual car. We have 14 D Detroit public school teams, robotics teams, working here with their teachers, with mentors, and with some of the U of M students. We feel it's very important for students to experience engineering. It really experience it. Um, this is a way that they can get excited about something that's um, outside of the classroom but relates directly to engineering and also gives them something like a, a new challenge. The College of Engineering has been really integral in this. Um, we found the space, we knew it existed, there's a lot of synergy going on with the rest of the Detroit Center. Kettering would not have had a team if it hadn't been for this facility. Last year was very difficult for us. We were a rookie team, we didn't know what we were doing, we didn't have facilities at school. It was very difficult to find mentors. We were lucky enough to have the Thunder Chickens, which are out of Utica, out at 19 Mile and Van Dyke, and they invited us to build with them. It was difficult getting out there because it was like 20 miles away from school and we had to drive out there. What's wonderful about this facility is almost from day one we had a place to build, we had a place to be, we have great facilities, we have a multitude of mentors. There actually are not facilities like this anywhere else in Michigan. In fact, I often wonder if there are any facilities like this anywhere across the United States. When we went out and were trying to recruit schools from Detroit, from the city of Detroit, it was so great to say to them, don't worry about it. We can help you with the mentors. We can help you with a facility and a, and a shop and, and all of the things that you need. And the camaraderie and support of all of the other teams will be right next to you. You don't have to be scared. What's so great about FIRST is that they have the opportunity to work side by side with real engineers to see what does an engineer do on a daily basis? Why, is, why would that even be a profession that I would want to go into? What we're seeing is that while the normal school in, say, Detroit may have a 40, 50, 60, 70 percent graduation rate, within the team, the students have a 100 percent graduation rate. They're also becoming leaders in society. They understand what it's like to go out and help the way they've been helped. And so we're really creating future technology leaders. I did first for four years throughout my high school. Designing a robot and bringing it from scratch um, basically gave me the inspiration to become an engineer. So it taught me like what engineering is, how to be an engineer, how to think like an engineer. So I'm, I want to pass that on. Yeah, so I've always thought it'd been pretty cool to you know build a robot. It's like I saw Star Wars, Terminator, and stuff. And you see the robots. It's like it's the first idea you get when you get a chance to build one. So it's the closest I can get to it. It's preparing me for the future, especially for what I want to do, what my goals are. I can actually get the real experience before I go off into the even bigger stuff.